Hi Crypto Kings and Queens, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie. In today's episode, I will show you why we could potentially see DXY have one pullback and then see the market continue to drop to lower targets now if we're holding ourselves below this resistance trend line. If DXY is pulling to the downside, we just might potentially see the market on Ethereum and Bitcoin pull to the upside. I have some Fibonacci levels targets on both Bitcoin and Ethereum and on Ethereum. If we see the market pull back to the upside, we'll break above this resistance trend line and hold this support and this Fibonacci as a support continue potentially back up to 1655 but if this will not hold we can already see how the market has some momentum around this level but if we break below we close the candlestick below the level retest from below this can take us back down to lower targets because remember the overall the market is still in a downtrend but we just might have to see the market pull back up for a lower high and then see the market continue to drop don't forget I'm no financial advisor so you need to look up everything yourself first but please continue looking at this video now we'll see if the market will take my stop loss or if we will get to my take profit continue looking at this video and don't forget to subscribe to it either okay let's go Let us start off with DXY, it's very important. We saw that DXY broke this downtrend that we did have low and lows and lower highs. Eventually, we saw the market break above this resistance trend line. And what we can see at the moment is that the line that you can see, this is a strong level that we have since before. I showed you this on a live stream. But the market is still creating low lows and lower highs. And we are right now trying to break above 1,109.611. As long as we're below this resistance trend, line dxy is still on its way to the downside one thing that we can do in case we see the market continuing to create lower lows and lower highs is that we're using the previous lower high combined with the lower low that gives us the fibonacci levels that we are inside at the moment between 109.655 and 109.590 we just might also see the market pull back up and retest the trend line but if we see that the market pulls back up and retest the trend line or if we stay inside the Fibonacci and the market continues to drop, we can potentially see the market pull back down to 108.878 or 108.615. And that is really good combined if we take the Fibonacci from the low, the last low that we did have at 107.780 back up to the next high that we did create at 110.17. So a lot of things depends on now if we see the market have the momentum and have the power to break above this level or if we see the market on DXY now only retest for a lower high and then potentially see the market continue back down only to create a higher low based on the higher time frames because we saw the market broke above the level we just might see the market create one higher low at lower targets and then potentially see the market slowly and steady continue to the upside combining that with bitcoin we can drag one support as you can see the market has been holding this support now for not so long but it's still a support if we see that dxy is pulling back down then Bitcoin could potentially, with high probability, continue back up. We don't have so much market structure when it comes to BTC, but I'm going to use this level at $21,200 back down to the support at $20,118. And then what I will do is that I'll go down to the 15 minutes chart and I'll drag another Fibonacci from $19,987 back up to the high at $20,434. This can take us back down. The market is going sideways. So it's not the best looking chart, to be honest, at the moment. But inside the sideways market, we just might see us pull back down to potentially 20,210 or 20,160. If these levels will hold, we can already see that we came back down, retested this level. And actually on the live stream that we did have this morning, we, I bought the market here. But we're coming back down to the entry soon. But this can take us back up to the targets that I spoke about and we have them at 20,660 or potentially 70,786. So if we see that the market continues back up, this is definitely the levels that I'm looking at for B2C to retest. But this is only if we combine it with what DXY is doing on its chart. And we are at the moment retesting the lower high. So if the market starts to pull back down on the DXY, well, then B2C will 
probably continue back up to higher targets. So both of them needs to create this lower high and DXY needs to create its higher low. We're looking at Ethereum, the overall picture. First of all, I'm just going to do a recap of what's happened before. We saw the market pull back up, retested Fibonacci level 1,990. We also saw the market broke the support trend line and then we saw the drop that we did have a couple of days ago. We came back up, retested the Fibonacci levels at 1,750 and then you saw the market drop. If we go down to the lower time frames, we can also see how the market did break the support trend line and right now we're going down to the lower time, frame, time frames to figure out where the next potential lower high can be. We do the same thing as on Bitcoin but Ethereum has a little bit better market structure so we'll drag Fibonacci from 1737 back down to the low at 1573. That gives us Fibonacci levels between 1655 and 1675. On the lower time frames, this is how we connect the charts together. We saw the market create a lower lows and lower highs because the market was in a heavily downtrend. That was a drop that we saw a couple of days ago. Then market created a higher high because we broke the previous lower high, created a higher low, another higher high. So what we can do at the moment in case we would see the market have a momentum to the upside, we drag the Fibonacci from the low to the high and that gives us Fibonacci levels between 1,584 and 1,590. If the market will hold itself above this level, then we just might see the market have the momentum to to reach the targets that I spoke about. If that's the case, take profit one is 1,627, take profit two, 1,655, and take profit three at 1,675. But that is only if we see the market hold itself above this Fibonacci levels, which now also is a support. You've seen market retested one time, second time, we tried to break it, we came inside, and now we're retesting this support one more time so if we see the market have them okay we're dropping while i'm recording it we just might see the market retest and then see the market have the momentum but if we see the market break below this level and we see a retest from below that is definitely the beginning for us to continue with the drop so a lot of things depends on how the market's going to behave what i'm going to do is that i will add one alert around 1582 now this is very important to look at because we just might see the market giving us a fake up from this level and then slowly and steady reverse back up. But when we're looking at DXY while I'm recording this, you can see how the market retested the Fibonacci levels and this could be where we actually see the market continue to drop. And if that's the case, well then BTC and Ethereum will you know, potentially continue to the upside. So everything depends on how the market's gonna behave right now. We saw the market give us one huge drop before too. So we just have to wait and see if we break below the level for a potential retest or we break we are continuing to be above the level we just might see some fake outs to it close inside and that that's the sign that we're pulling to the upside i'm inside the trade on btc so i'm just gonna wait and see how the market's gonna behave and if i have big momentum then i will obviously close my position but otherwise i have my take profit both on ethereum and bitcoin at where i just showed you where i expected the market to pull back up to and don't forget that you can also receive the best bonus available right now on bybit up to four thousand four hundred and fifty dollars by using the link in the description down below the video you also have it pinned in the corner and good thing with bybit is that when we hold our positions for a longer time we have very very low fees and that is definitely the best thing with this it's a very simple platform to use and if you want to know more about bybit i will give you a tutorial video at the end of this video and we're dropping while we're looking at my chart oh no <laughs> Well, while I'm recording this, we just might see my stop loss get hit, but it looks like we can have a fake out to the level. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification so you know when I am live next time. We will have another live stream in about three to four hours, so definitely subscribe to it. So I see you there, okay? Have a great day, everyone. And let's see how this will go with my trade. Mwah for Sweden!